Now let's go ahead and decorate our measuring board with the geometric shapes that we've cut out. We can take our shapes and peel off the back because it's contact paper and just put it straight onto the measuring board. I'm going to make a nice bright sunshine in the corner of the board using my yellow circle and the long yellow strips. I'm going to take a green strip and run it along the bottom that'll look like a strip of grass because I'm going to put a the shape of a house on top of it. To make my house I'll be using a blue square and I'll put it right on top of the green grass. And on top of the blue house I'll attach a, a red triangular roof. I have some s small squares and rectangular shapes to decorate the house to make a window and a door. We can see how the geometric shapes, making the decorations with them, makes it look very simple and makes it look like a decoration for a children's room. We'll take a red circle and we'll make a balloon with it. This will be a hot air balloon. We see our hot air balloon has a circle with some rectangular strips holding onto the basket. And we have a small circle in the middle as if somebody's inside flying it. So we've completed our hot air balloon with some circles and some thin strips. And it also looks like we, um, we have a person sitting inside. We've also cut out some birds which are kind of like the shape of two triangles attached together. And now we're going to make a kite to complete our outdoor scene. So now we've created a nice outdoor scene with our geometric shapes and we've decorated our measuring board with some nice decorations that are appropriate for a child's room. So I've shown you how to take the geometric shapes from our contact paper and put them onto the measuring board to complete the decorations of our project.